Femininity has the appearance of being weak, but it is actually quite strong. It's just part of the role. Masculinity has the appearance of being very strong, but it is actually quite weak. It's just part of the role. This is why it hurts men as much as it does when the things that are at the heart of what it is to be a guy are being considered terrible. And it's one of the many reasons why suicide rates are so high among men. If you want to get rid of gender roles, you don't do it by making fun of the people who still strictly compare themselves to those usually unrealistic roles. That just makes it worse. And let's not forget that there is a biological element to this as well. Even if men and women were brought up exactly the same, with no roles being attached to any specific gender, they would still gravitate towards certain things. It obviously wouldn't be nearly as extreme as when society pushes that we're supposed to be a particular way, but the differences would still be pretty obvious. So as I understand that we want to get rid of things that are detrimental and destructive in our society, there are some things that are simply not possible to completely change. We can get close, and we can reroute things that are destructive into something more constructive, but there are some things that will simply never completely go away because they're a part of being human, they're instinctual. And if we force the issue by creating unjust laws that completely defy our very nature, we will be doing a disservice to everyone. The simple truth is, we need to learn how to be at least a little bit satisfied with what we have. Not completely satisfied, but at least a little bit satisfied. Look how so many other people have to live in different countries. We are very fortunate here in the States, and many others are very fortunate in the first world countries in which they reside. Many other countries, man, people are not doing so well. We can't be Ariel on Disney's Little Mermaid, nor Belle on Disney's animated Beauty and the Beast. We can't sing a bunch of lyrics from a musical that declare that we want more. And then after experiencing the pain of a standard fairy tale trope, we suddenly get everything we want. Those are such damaging tropes. Those are the things that are messed up, not video games. It's the Disney crap. That's why it's so disappointing that Disney are the ones that took over Star Wars, but that's after. Lucas already made the stupid prequels and then tamed the original characters like Han Solo so he wasn't such a cutthroat person. He went from cutthroat to goofball, a likable goofball, but a goofball nevertheless. There is very little in movies or television programs that really show what life is about. HBO and Showtime have come the closest in some of their original shows, but otherwise most programming is programming. It's designed to program, mostly programming people to be in the mindset of absorbing the commercials. Anyway, I digress. We have had so many messages everywhere for so long that are essentially starting to morph into a message that says that you can achieve your dreams by merely being a demographic well, fuck being good at anything, because everyone's special. Everyone's good at everything. And the people who say otherwise just hate minorities and women because, in their minds, it somehow means that we don't want to give other people a fair break. Between the sexes, statistically on average, we have the obvious differences in physicality, and there are some mental differences as well, particularly in this society where we teach some very strong differences. This is, again on average. There are some careers that some people of certain genders are simply going to gravitate towards more often. There's nothing sexist about that, that's simply how it is. And when it comes to one's merit, you can't just say, well, I want to do this, and then you can go through the motions of and spend potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars in student loans for a formal education and expect to suddenly be good at the thing you set your heart out to do. Yes, in those cases, you just wasted your money. You should probably have thought about what you're good at. But, you know, we can't have that. We can't declare that someone sucks at something. That would be somethingist. You deserve the job because you worked so hard to get the education for that job, and you went through so much as a insert demographic here, so you deserve it, and anyone who says otherwise is just a bigoted, somethingist, poopy-head, neck-bearded meathead. Every movement needs some humility once in a while. In life, there are so few happy endings that we should, quite frankly, never count on them. 
We certainly shouldn't throw a tantrum and cause a bunch of social destruction when things don't go exactly our way. I mean, sure, if you know you can temporarily throw a tantrum, get those frustrations out, and then move on, cool. But you're not going to get respect by declaring that almost everyone is sexist, misogynistic, homophobic, or racist simply because they don't believe in anti-capitalistic practices such as legislating and making compulsory equality of outcome. If you're going to argue against capitalism, then be upfront about it. If you're going to argue for socialism, be upfront about it. If you're going to argue for fascism, be upfront about it. If you're going to argue for communism, be upfront about it. Let's not drag people along so they think you're on their side in order for you to become a propaganda machine. Actually, be upfront about what your intentions are. I believe in a cross between capitalism and socialism. So I guess I digress yet again. Just because some people are far above average in something when the demographic they fit is usually quite below average in that thing doesn't mean that the people who are below average in that thing are suddenly above average. This can apply to many different scenarios. On average, guys are good at some things, women are good at other things, and there's a whole bunch of crossover. And as I said, someone has to be above average to be considered above average. I guess on a similar note, but to change focus a bit, I have no problem with the idea that Asians, on average, are much smarter than white people. Some people have a very hard time with the idea that there are other demographics that, on average, are smarter than their demographic. I think it's quite detrimental to deny these types of things. It will be interesting to see what will happen when we get the technology to determine someone's IQ by having people simply wear a headset of sorts and ask them certain kinds of questions and the headset does some analyzing. It will open a huge can of worms that will cause havoc for decades. Some people will try to ban the technology when they realize the ramifications of it, but by then it would be too late. Anyway, I guess I don't know where to go from there. I guess I was just rambling again. <laughs>